So Ryu's woken up in this desert. So let's uh, head on outside. Eh, I guess. Even if he could, he's not going to tell you because he's mute. Oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently it does speak. No, it's broken. Do I have to run across the desert on that mollusk again? Oh, a copy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Back to Warrant and then how to get the Mount Glum. Does that mean I have to ride back, or can I just go back? Oh, good. God. That would have sucked. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm stuck here. I gotta... Why didn't any of you go? <laughs> what I was trying to do. Oh, good for you. Well, I'm glad I don't have to run through the damn desert again on that mollusk. That was a pain in the ass. Anything like that's always going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, yeah, okay. I gotta find someone who'll give me directions. Get out of the way, mollusk. <laughs> Alright, fine. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> what, you can't do that? <laughs> Normally this is the kind of thing that I would do when you're first being introduced to a new city in order to force you to um, force you to wander around and talk to everybody. This isn't the kind of thing I'd have you do after you've already been to a city because it just feels like busy work. Because more or less what I'm doing is just running from person to person making sure I talk to every single person trying to find out who knows how to get to the city, got to get to the, the mountain. Yeah, do you, you know how to fucking get to the mountain? I 
Ah. East over the plains. Then we get the large stone. East, then south. Fuck. I mean, I gotta do mountain. I gotta do desert shit again. <laughs> okay. Fine. Desert shit again. My character rested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of way. East to a rock, then south. Let's hope it's not wrong directions like you had wrong directions in Breath of Fire 3. Okay, so east. East until you hit a large rock. Oh shit, should I be... Where's my mollusk? Did you take my mollusk? Or do I not do that anymore? Alright, no more mollusking, I guess. So east, until I hit a south, until I hit a rock, and then south. It's a goofy looking running animation. So this was a desert in Breath of Fire 3, and it was my least favorite part of the game. Because it actually gives you, I must have mentioned this before, but it's been a couple of months since I put any time into this game. Uh, I had a hard drive failure, it messed me all up. So I'm trying to get back to doing stuff, but so if, you, if I said this before, this is the reason why. Level up! In Breath of Fire 3, you had a portion where you had to run through the desert. And it would take, I don't know, maybe take you 15, 20 minutes or so to do it in real time. But the problem was, it actually gives you the wrong directions and tells you to turn west instead of east. And... You have to rest every once in a while, and then you have to go and do this and that and all this kind of stuff. But the fact that they gave you the wrong directions was a, what screwed me up, and it kept me screwed up for a long time. Because I actually gave up on playing the game after a while because of how, I was, how impatient I'd gotten with it. Because, I mean, you'd think that the damn game would just... So you go into the desert, you can only move during the nighttime instead of the daytime, so automatically your motion is going to be, your moving is going to be slowed. And then you have to go and just not follow points on a map. You actually have to walk around like this, and in the directions they give you tell you to head north, and then it tells you to hold, head north west for x number of days and then it tells you to head north for x number of days and you should see the oasis but the directions that were wrong you didn't need to go west you needed to go east so i kept going west because that's what the goddamn game told me to do and it drove me freaking crazy once i like i don't know how i just decided one day just like okay go the other direction and see what happens and that led me to the finish this, it's a little bit less of a problem. I'm not being thrown into a, uh, I'm not being forced to land on maps, on like, uh, load in the, and load in the small maps. I'm also not being forced to stop and rest. So this is going a little bit easier. And it doesn't seem like I am, uh, being given wrong directions. 
I mean, that rock was where it needed to go, and that mountain, that volcano, is Mount whatever. So it's, it's the thing I like the least about Breath of Fire 3, other than the story being a little bit... a little bit childish. Oh, it's brightened up. I guess that means I've reached the end. Excelente! Oh, dungeon music. Ah, damn it. Volcano land. So I gotta dodge around all this kind of stuff. As much as I hate to do it to end an episode at 11 minutes, though, I don't want to start a dungeon more than 10 minutes into an episode. So this will be the, the end of this one. Thanks for watching.